And last segment, we played audio of Doug Gottlieb discussing the Jalen Brown uh, story that he has, that Jalen Brown, the rumor is, is done playing for white coaches. Uh, Doug Gottlieb is the host of the Doug, the Doug Gottlieb Show and the head coach of Green Bay, Wisconsin men's basketball. Doug, very short notice. Greatly appreciate you joining us. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. So I... I just have so many questions. I'll begin with this. Um, why does Jalen Brown want to be on Team USA if Steve Kerr's the coach? I mean, who doesn't want to be on Team USA? I don't, you know, I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, you want to you want to go on the back of um, uh, on the back of being a Finals MVP. I mean, it's an incredible brand building deal and a chance to be a part of a gold medal team. So, I mean, I think. Uh, that goes without saying. And and again, there has to be full context of it. You know, like when the coaching, when when Brad uh, kind of kicked himself upstairs and obviously Danny left, um, it was during the time of all the protests and all of those stuff, right? It was around kind of that same time. And there was just that feeling that Brad's message was, was coming up short, you know, that no matter how brilliant Brad Stevens is, and I think he's as brilliant a basketball coach as we've ever had in the college and pro game, just they kind of started tuning them out. And what I was told from some people was like, dude, I don't think he wants to play for a white coach. And that's a real thing, you know, between not wanting to play for a white coach and not wanting to play for a guy who uh, was not an NBA player. Obviously that's since changed since the, the, the next coaching change, but that, that's kind of where that, that comes from. And, and like, um, again, uh, a lot of it comes down to context and time and all the other stuff that was going on in the in the world. But um, I just think he's not on the team because Kawhi was never going to play. Right? The, the, the Kawhi thing has been going on for like six months where Kawhi wanted to be a part of the team, but he was never going to play. Like he knew his body was never going to do it. And so that was a position that they just wanted a guy who could – not be cool with being 12th man and not playing because you just can't like look i'm coaching division one team i can't have i have 13 scholarship players i can't have all 13 expecting to play and you know um guys just the, it's a very hard mentality for people like a, like dude jalen brown when you think the last time he played five minutes in a game was in his life uh probably jv somewhere mm -hmm. you know eighth grade but Doug, I guess you would yeah. have to, Doug, I guess you'd have to believe that Jalen Brown would only be playing five minutes for Team USA. I don't believe that. I think he would be a big part of that team when you start to look at his skill set and you know where no, he'd he be. would. No, no, no. First, two two things. First, again, you're looking at it in two different ways. Mm -hmm. One, you're thinking it's all about how you play in the NBA. It's a completely different sport playing field basketball. That's why, like. We line up, and we think Canada is our biggest competition because they have the best NBA caliber players, right? But it's, that's not how it works. So you have to be able to obviously guard with physicality, but then play without dribbling the ball. Like it is a it limited. That that's really why Kyrie's not playing on this thing because you can't you can't do all that all the extra ball handling stuff, and you got to be able to guard multiple positions. And I'm guessing that what they saw was hey, here's Derek White. He'll be happy playing five minutes. And, oh, yeah, by the way, he doesn't need the ball, and he can guard a lot better than Steph can guard. But, but okay, so who are you going to sit? Remember, like, LeBron's going to play. You can't have LeBron on the team and go, like, hey, man, you're just going to wave the towel. Mm -hmm. right? KD, KD was their best player, bailed them out in the last Olympics. He not, he's going to play. Okay? And now you got Embiid there. Okay? And Embiid's got – you've got to have a five because they play with legit centers who can score their best to the basket. So – Again, who, who is going to sit in order for – it doesn't mean that Jalen's not an awesome player. He's not coming off his best basketball of his life. Okay? But one, it's a different sport. And then two, like the real way it works is promises are made. And LeBron James is not going to be embarrassed by playing 10 minutes, even if Jalen at this point in his career may do a lot of things better than LeBron. That ain't happening. That's just not the way USA basketball works. Well, I, I, he's playing over Tyrese Halliburton. He's playing over Devin Booker, and he's playing over uh, Anthony Edwards. He's playing over Drew Holiday. There are a number of guys that I would play Jalen. Right? I probably won't play over Drew Holiday. Like Drew has to be there for when because Steph can't guard, right? Like I'm just telling you, it's a mm -hmm. very different sport. But you're not—he's not playing him over a guard, right? He on that team, he's a three, 
or maybe a four. Mm-hmm. And so the guys he's competing with minutes, you're you're comparing him, you know, maybe Devin Booker, okay, and Devin doesn't doesn't guard as well as Jalen does, but he's, he's a far more proficient jump shooter and can play without the basketball more. So, so Doug- and this is not like this is this is just look, it's just a reality, okay? You have uh, you have uh, forty minutes and five positions. That's two hundred minutes. You start cutting out the pie. Um, and then again, like listen, to, and he's not playing over Jason Tatum, based upon their estimation. And oh yeah, by the way, there ha- there there's got to be a little bit something there. Well, when he didn't get on the team, Tatum was like, yeah, there's a lot of guys who want to be on the team. Like that was a weird response. I think you guys would admit that. It was definitely a weird response. But Doug, I, I know that you're not buying into the conspiracy theory about Nike, and that's why yeah. I think Jason Tatum had the response that he did. He's obviously making a hell of a lot of money off of Nike with his threes being released. What now? But so yeah. you think it's simply because of a fit, and Nike had no say in this whatsoever. None. None. How do I? I definitely listen. Are there politics at play? Yes. Are there shoe company politics at play? No. So, so, but, so you may you may think that there's politics at play because Jalen Brown has spoken out about things going on in the world right now. No, 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 no. When I say politics, I don't mean politics. Politics. I mean like, like USA basketball has all been about. It's when I say it's political. It's have you been in the USA basketball system growing up? Right? Did you go? Remember they finished in seventh place in that last World Cup disaster. Those guys and and uh, and Derek was one of those guys that he handled himself so well. That they they have a they have a greater feeling about him, okay. So in politics, it's it's not like Washington D.C. politics. It's just more USA basketball politics. And it used to be, and it still is this way, right? Dukies always get first choice. Okay, Coach K was the coach of USA basketball. All those Dukies, man, that's a real thing. It's a real thing. That's why you go to Duke. They tell you you want to come to Duke. This is a lifetime decision. We're going to take care of you. The commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, is a Dukie. There's dookies all over. The rules for them are different than the rules for everybody else. That's that's unknown. It used to be when the late great John Thompson was alive. You know, he was the coach at Georgetown. All the Georgetown guys got a chance to play on the USA basketball teams ahead of everybody else. If you're you when you were getting ready to pick a college, if you want to play USA basketball, your coach had to be involved in USA basketball. Otherwise, you had to be really, really, really good. The, the teams made up of like half and half. Okay, so now a lot of these guys, you know, LeBron didn't go to college. Uh, but he's LeBron, so it doesn't matter. KD was there for a year. Doesn't He's so good, it doesn't matter. But some of these other guys, it's not necessarily about their college coach. Some of it is, right? If you're a Dookie, you're in good, you're in good shape. Um, but the, the other part to it is, have you been in the USA basketball system? Have you given up summers in the past to play USA basketball? And this is going back to when they're 17 years old. So um, – there's a lot more to it than just hey, let's go roll out and get the you know get the 12 best players. You got to get guys that fit together, people that everybody wants to play with. You're spending a month away from your family with these people. Um, you have to fit into whatever role they want. Have you been in USA basketball? Who's calling on your behalf? You know, all of those things you know go go into play. They knew Kawhi wasn't going to be able to play a long time ago, and it just got to the point where he couldn't. He didn't want to do the work. He couldn't even do the workouts. Like he's just not there physically. And so they made this this play. So when I say politics, please don't think it's what's going on in DC or or that type. And I don't believe Nike has any sort of say in this thing. Um, they they just don't. Doug, I greatly appreciate your time this morning. Last one for me, just quickly. Um, from from your perspective, Jalen Brown acquiescing. Like so, if I'm Team USA. I offered Jalen Brown the spot that went to Derek White and put the onus on him to be a citizen instead of picking Derek White, omitting him from the roster because they're making his position stronger as, I mean, not a martyr, but as someone that has been uh, unfairly judged by this committee. Wait, I don't understand the question. So, Doug, why wouldn't they have just picked Jalen Brown, given him this spot, forced him to acquiesce and be a good teammate instead of Derek White. I don't think Jalen Brown's presence on this team would preclude them from winning gold. Do you? No. No. I mean, look, do I think they need another shot-making guard? I do. Can, who can really d- defend? Um, I do. It is weird that, you know, I, l- listen, there's there's some other guys that um, I'm surprised, you know, just much more drillers, catch-and-shoot guys that, that, that aren't playing, but Again, I, I think this was kind of determined a long time ago. 
And I'm sure Jalen probably knew it a long time ago, right? Like he wasn't working out against them. You know, he wasn't on the traveling squad. I'm, th- this is not new information that this all went down. But why wouldn't they? Because he probably would have taken it. They, they knew who they wanted. They made the selection. They moved on. Yeah. And, so, just, and sorry, sorry, I missed the last one. Really last one. So because for our purposes in Boston, your comments have been, you know, picked up and taken everywhere. During the riots of 2020, when Brad Stevens was replaced with Ime Udoka, you had heard then that Jalen was done playing for white coaches, or is that something that you still hear to this day? That was something I heard then. Okay. Thank you, Doug, for your time on short notice, the mm-hmm. host of the Doug Gottlieb Show and the head coach of Green Bay, Wisconsin men's basketball. Thanks, Doug. Okie dokie. There yeah. he goes. Well, we can react to that. Um, what did he did think? not give that context when he was discussing it on his radio show, and yeah, then like he blamed tw- us for taking it out of context. However, like twenty, so he's bringing it back to like twenty twenty, right? So Brad's point. what my guess is, Brad Stevens is as respected a college coach mm-hmm. as there is for what he did with Butler, taking them to two Final Fours. Mm-hmm. And my guess is Doug was bothered by that. I don't know. If, I have no idea if they know each other well. I'm sure they're mm. acquainted. And at that time, it was odd that the whole restructuring with Danny leaving. Mm -hmm. But I don't, if you're going to, if saying that at the peak of the racial unrest following the death of George Floyd, that Jalen preferred to play for an African-American coach is very different than saying he doesn't want to blanket statement. Correct? Yeah. Because in those moments, it was a very, at that time, it's hard to reflect accurately, but, the 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 tenor and the mood of America was very different than it is right well, now. Well, if he would have said this is what I was hearing back in 2020, that's not necessarily the reason why Jalen Brown doesn't want to play now, which he kind of alluded to. He alluded to. I just I'm I, I get the basketball politics. That part I get. Like right. I I understand that part of you know because they're in all types of sports. I just don't get like I when people try to sell me on. Well, they went with this guy because this guy can play defense. He can get, like Jalen Brown can cover guards, right? So I mean, he could do the same thing Devin Booker could do. He can cover guards that Steph Curry can't cover, right? And the other thing that's nonsense is that I, he's really good at the running after the catch because he's a radio host, so he can really sort of take the ball and go for two minutes. So we couldn't really go rapid fire. Mm-hmm. But was Derek White? a chosen one, if they knew Kawhi wasn't going to play and they knew inevitably he was going to be left off the team. Did mm-hmm. they always think Derek White? Did, did they was always the... know that Derek White, he didn't right. go to Duke. He's not friends with Coach K. Uh-huh. He didn't play for George, John Thompson at Georgetown, whatever well, old analogy he wanted to I, use. I would I would look at it like this. Before even you went to Derek White and there were guys like Damian Lillard, Drew Holiday, J- uh, I, I mean, Dame Lillard, Devin Mitchell, Jalen Brunson, like, that are playing, that aren't playing, and guys like, you know, we love Drew Holiday, and we love Derek White, and some of these, you know, Tyrese Halliburton. There are guys that are better than, and then if he goes, okay, well, the game is different. It's not about dribbling. Well, Jalen Brown is one of the best transition basketball players out there when, so if it's not about dribbling, it's about getting up and down the court, wouldn't you want somebody that can play that type of style of basketball where just... You know, not a rim runner, but a transition runner, a guy that can run the lane and and has unbelievable athleticism. Like, I mean, that's what Jalen Brown does well. So if you're saying, well, you know, it, you don't want Kyrie Irving there because this game's not about dribbling. All right, well, you want guys who can make plays in transition. That's what Jalen Brown does. Like, so I don't buy the whole. It was on court basketball decision. I think I'm telling you, it's the powers that be, which I believe the the basketball politics the Nike, the board of directors who bring these players on, I think they're just afraid of Jalen Brown in the sense of he's not afraid to speak what's on his mind, and he's might have said that and maybe rubbed some people the wrong way. So when they come down to this and go, well, you know what? Like Kevin Durant, for example, dealing with a calf injury, might not be able to play for Team USA. They might be like, well... Do we want Jalen Brown? And I think that you might see them maybe go in a different direction again just because 
they, you know, J- maybe Jalen Brown left a bad taste in their mouth. Right. It's odd the things that Doug knows very well, and then when you ask him about it, he has no foundation to, to stand on. But yeah. we have also a- not thinking Nike has anything to do with this entire thing is yeah. possible. Yeah. Somehow I think University of Wisconsin Milwaukee basketball may be a Nike affiliate. <laughs> but-